Today I'm going to do a quick little review on the six Japanese Headmaster Warriors. These guys were only released officially in Japan. There exist knockoffs, which are a lot cheaper. And I'm actually going to use knockoffs for the transformation part of this video, just because, to be honest, transforming these guys makes me a little nervous. Especially with... it's just hard to find them. They're not really super fragile, but for intents and purposes, it's easier. Now, first off is their box. All six of them come in the same exact box, which has the animals on one side, the robots on the other side, shows all six in headmaster mode there, with the flavor text, barcode, but other than that, there's no box art or anything, very boring, generic little box. The only difference is each one will come with, now this is for one of the robots, this is the plastic insert, it has a little flap to keep the toy in, especially since there's nothing here as I knock him down. So the robot will go in there. This will keep him secured. And each one comes with their own little custom insert. And then there are tiny little instructions that show you how to flip the legs up since, you know, it's a headmaster and that's all they really do. Now, these are the six headmasters. I'll do the three robots first. First one would be the easiest one to find. This is Kirk. Now these guys are all about the same size as a normal headmaster. And for his transformation, all three of the robots basically do the same thing. And again, now we're going to use a knockoff. But here he is. He will just fold in half. And then this little piece will flip up. Now if you're buying these, the thing you want to keep an eye out for... Now there's little tiny minute differences in the paint job and the detail. But the main thing you're going to look for is this little box right here. On an official one, you'll see it says Takara. On the knockoff, it does not. So especially if you're looking to buy, 9 times out of 10, the seller is going to have a picture of the head mode. So just look for that. If there's no Takara symbol, it's a knockoff. Next up, we have Loafer. Again, he is just a little robot. He is probably my favorite of the six of them. Not quite sure why. I like his color scheme. I like his detail. But he is very cool. And for his transformation, basically the same thing. He will fold in half. And then this piece will flip up. And just like the other one, you can see the knockoff if my camera were focus, knockoff says nothing, and the Takara one... Wow, my camera just does not want to focus right now, does it? Maybe I finally have one hand in there. Oh, there you go. You can see Takara on the official, and nothing on the knockoff. He does not want to stand up, does he? Next up, we have Ladoni. And I might have pronounced that wrong. He's kind of cool just for the fact that when he transforms, he's got a much larger bottom section. And again, knockoff for transformation. He will fold in half, but he kind of folds in half upwards instead of downwards. Which is kind of what I was talking about. So you have this whole big section that sits on the robot head. And then this piece will flip up. And there he is. And again, you can see the Takara symbol on the official one versus nothing on the knockoff. And then when, the, when you get to the animals, that's when they start getting a little more interesting. Leon is the first one, or Lion, Lion, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. That's what he looks like. And the face is just underneath there. Not really obscured or hidden by anything. Now for transforming him, you will fold, first off, flip the head forward. And then the body will fold in half. And then these legs will flip up. These legs will flip down. And the tail, well I guess I already pushed the tail up. The tail was down. 
the tail flips up. Now the tail on Lyon and Trizer break fairly often, so always keep an eye out for that. And again, as you can see, knock off nothing, Takara has the stamp. Put that there. I will do Trizer next. As you can see, he's got the head underneath there. Transformation is very similar. Again, we're going to use the knockoff. So, body folds in half. And then the front feet will flip down. The back feet will flip up. I kind of already pushed the tail into place, but it goes there. And the head flips down. There he is. And again, you can see the Takara symbol versus no Takara symbol. And now for the last one, Shuffler is by far the rarest one. And I actually don't have a second Takara version of him, so we're just going to show you the stamp. He doesn't have the same empty space that the rest of them do. His stamp is... I can even get this to focus. It's right underneath the feet here. It really doesn't want to focus, does it? Maybe? Okay, well it's not focusing, but there's a little tiny stamp in here. That's where you have to look for it. Knockoff will just be plain. So this is the knockoff. His transformation, the head part, he bends at the waist, and he also bends at the head. So you want to flip the head piece up, and then his little note, his little trunk will move as well. But that'll be the front. These will flip up to kind of form the ears. Then the back piece flips, and then you'll move these to get that into shape. And as you can see, let's see if I can get it to focus now. So you can see under there, there's nothing. It will be nice and work for me now. Nope, that's a no. Well, there is a Takara symbol under there, and that's what you have to look for when you're buying one. Oh, there we go. If you want an official one, you can kind of see the Takara symbol right there. Sorry my camera wasn't, my focus wasn't being the best, but those are the Headmaster Warriors.